Don't do drugs, kids. I got that kind of I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, West Ottawa. Hi, well, it's a wonderful, beautiful morning of Thursday, May 19th. I'm Denzel. And I'm Christian. In today's show, we'll be explaining the concept of hashtag WolfAm and a story for you about Nate Han and his secret Will society. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Senior Oscar night, May 12th at 7 at the PAC. Be there. South 373, North 815. What are these numbers? They are the numbers of overdue library books in each building as of Monday, March 28th. Please get these materials returned or renewed and make these numbers as close to zero as we can. Seniors, if you don't have your books in on cap and gown day, your cap and gown will be held until you take care of it. Attention seniors, reminders that Johnson representatives will be at school during seminar and lunch in the auxiliary gym on Thursday, April 21st to deliver caps and gowns and graduation products. Your balance must be paid in full in order to receive your products. No checks can be accepted on the day of delivery, cash only. What started was a large school with many unique people, but we are one. Some of us at WOBN would like to introduce you to one of the little guys on campus. Here's a vid me and Jackson put together on Nate Han. Yeah, that guy who just screams score, that's Nate. Most people don't know him by name or have ever seen him around. Heck, before finding out about this guy, I had no clue either, but was pleasantly surprised. However, what most people don't know about him is that he's probably the nicest guy at school and is best known for his small acts of kindness. He gets $300. Here we go. He would do anything for a West Iowa member because he wears the Panther badge proud. Every day he comes to school with a smile on his face and a go-getter attitude. He loves school and always wants to do things in class, whether it be math or drawing. A wheelchair, you can be on the... His story is impressive and one of great support. Nathan comes from a very supportive family with lots of cousins, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's had some um, physical difficulties, doctors and medical and whatnot. And very young, his parents and his teachers realized he just learned differently. He's very active. He does work very hard to control his um, impulses, sometimes not as successfully as others, but that kind of makes him who he is. He may have a disability that acts like an obstacle for him, but through it all, he smiles on. He does this so he can carry happiness onto Mate. others. Oh man, shaving? that's hard. You're always shaving your legs. Um, I like how he's always so energetic and he, he uh, I don't know, he always brightens my day. 
The time we had hanging out with Nate, from the get-go, he was always friendly. He did have that positive vibe and that quickly made him lovable. Throughout the research, we learned a lot about Nate, and ultimately, he's kindness for all. Through this kindness, we became friends. Actually, the more I think about it, the more like family. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, come see the wonderful spectacle with song, dance, and good times. At the moment, the entry will cost you 30 bucks, but on Monday, the price will increase by $5. Hurry up, space is limited. If you're a pizza lover like me, you may want to go to Cooking Club. They'll be in the North Building at room A138 on Thursday. Contact Tori Schroner with questions. For all people taking any AP exams, there will be a mandatory... I repeat, mandatory meeting on Tuesday, April 19th in the North Building. Forget going to seminar. Report directly to the North Cafe. Attention juniors and seniors. Vote for prom court by checking your school email today. Court votes will be accepted through 3 p.m. on Friday, April 29th. Make up your mind. Here we have another example of old fam. Us helping each other and taking care of one another. Here's a vid by Allie and Nicole. Stay tuned. High school students are known for involving themselves in other people's business, but this secret has been kept so under the radar that only two people at West Ottawa High School know. There are always people around the community trying to make our town a better place and to make a striking difference. And this certain group of people use a different kind of technique. It's a group of people that get together and we do good deeds around the community to help people out when they're in need. Although they are doing something good for their community, they still wish to stay anonymous. Most of these people know that they need help, but they're too afraid or they don't want to be judged for like when they ask for help. So we try to respect them and not tell the community. And what inspired you to start this project? It's really fun to do and it's good to know that someone's helping the community out. But for these people, money is not a problem. Uh, kind of divide the money amongst all of us and we'll chip in out of our own pockets. So. The church knows of families who struggle and tell this group of people and they go out and get things for the families in need. And we'll drive to people's place, houses and then we'll put the box on the doorstep and we'll ring the doorbell and then run back to the car and drive away. The group of people that do this don't get any reward from this. They just do it to help out the people in their community. There's a brand new club coming to Woe. It's the Fishing Club. Come fishing with Mr. Mendels. The meeting will be held at April 19th from 3 to 4 in room A124. That's in the North Building. Everyone is welcome. Here's a little way to show Woe pride. Come and join the black hole. Here's a video by your boy X. Let's watch. You're sitting with your friends on your phone, and your light's just passing you by. Maybe I'll sit in the black hole next year, maybe next game. No, do it right now. You can get the materials before the game, or even share with your friends. You can do whatever you need to do to help your team win. You spend all day on the phone anyhow, why don't you DM the Wo Black Hole account and get you a spot on the black hole bus? Why are you making it so complicated? It's easy. Our final announcement for today is that Game Club will be meeting every Wednesday in room 209 in the South Building from 3 to 4. Come and play your favorite card slash board game. Goodbye. Until next time, all. Well. See you guys. Mr. Perez's classroom. A wonderful place where wonderful things happen. This teacher took it upon himself to help students who came to this country and need to learn English. How many students per year um, immigrate to school? Let's say for the newcomer center. Uh, on average, I probably will have 12 to 15 students per year. New to the school? And they're either new within the same year 
uh, that beginning of the school year, or at the most a few months, either at the middle school level or at the school they're coming from. So there's always been a substantial amount of new students coming Yes, in. absolutely, enough to be able to have a, a, a nice size classroom where we can do a lot of group activities and yet small enough that I can do small or individual uh, teaching at some times and points. Simply in my history class, Naomi and I are together. And if we don't understand the teacher, we can come down to Mr. Perez and he'll explain. Would you say that students enjoy West Ottawa as a whole, or do you think that a lot of them would prefer having stayed at home? Uh, I think it varies. I think the majority of them, uh, once they're acclimated and uh, are, are made feel welcome, and which most of them are, if not all of them, I would say all of them have been. And once they acclimate, um, I think they love West Ottawa. It's a great place to be, uh, whether you're a student or a staff member. I, I honestly believe that it's one of the best districts in the state of Michigan, and I dare say in the United States of America. It's, it's a great program, and uh, I don't see too many kids who are after a few weeks, not feeling too much part of our group and our school. Hey, Dom. Um, have you heard about Christian? I mean, I've heard it's getting pretty strong. Dude, yeah. I, yesterday I seen him lifting over 600 pounds in the weight room. Dude, that's insane. I mean, really? 600? Yeah, I think he's on steroids, though, because he's been having roid rage recently. I think that makes sense. I don't, I don't put it past him. But, seriously. 600? Dang. Oh, hey Christian, I want to talk to you about yesterday in the gym class. Oh, what's up, bro? Dude, I see you lifting like 600 pounds. How do you do it? I just got gains, man. I got a hookup with this guy named Mikel. Really? He's Where can I kid. meet him? Um, I'm actually doing a deal later today. You can come if you want. All right, I'll meet you there. All right, see ya. See ya. Oh, hey Christian, remember that uh, deal you said you were going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? Right, do? Now. right now? What no. are you going to do it right now? I'm your neighborhood drug dealer. It's your neighborhood drug dealer. Should I use the steroids? Dude. Get off me! Oh. Oh. Get off me! No, I don't want to end up like him. Don't do drugs, kids. It doesn't make you cooler. It has dire side effects. No, no real drugs were used in this film, so do not worry.